This is my WordPress website where I put my heart and soul creating a content and sharing helpful information to the people. Where I invested over five years creating this attractive website and engaging content. But what happens if any moment my site will crash? It could be of different reason. Maybe someone might have hacked my website. Maybe the server on which this website is hosted itself gone crash or maybe any other reason. In all those cases, the most important thing for me as a WordPress website owner is to take a timely backup of a website. But the problem is in the market, there are a lot of premium tools. They are charging heavy pricing if you want to take a backup of your website. And that is why in this video, I am going to share a 100% free solution, which I personally using in order to take a website backup and that even with a one or two clicks. So guys, my name is Kirti Shvyas and on this channel, I create a content around helpful WordPress tips and a review of our digital marketing tools. So if you're really interested, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the content if you really find a value out of it. Without any further delay, let's jump onto the screen. So just before this video, I have created a dummy website which look like this. So there are two blog posts been published before creating this video. Now, I will tell you if this is something like your website or any website hosted on a WordPress or running on a WordPress, how to take a backup. And that even possible with the help of a free plugin called Updraft Plus. So let's jump onto the WordPress backend dashboard. For that, first you have to come to the backend of your WordPress. Then here under a plugin, click to the add new. Then search for a plugin called Updraft Plus. It will give you this plugin which has three plus million active installations. If you go and check the more details, you can figure it out what exactly the feature it offering. The most important bit is it is offering you two major things. Number one, you can have a schedule backup, which means if you are currently not available, but would like to take a backup in the night or somewhere at that time, specific time you can set up from here or the another bit could be a manual backup. But remember that schedule backup will be a plop, will be a part of their premium feature. So ultimately as part of a free plan, you are only allowed to take a manual backup, but that even with a single click. And number two, it will allow you not only to backup your website data to the Dropbox, Google Drive, Amazon, and a lot many different places. But if you will be upgrading for their premium plan, they will also offer you different other cloud storage such as Azure cloud storage, if you will be their premium members. But ultimately in this case, we'll be taking a free solution Google Drive where you can also take a backup of your website and can restore anytime if there is, there is any unfortunate situation happen with your website. So let's go back and on the screen, make sure you install this plugin, activate this plugin. Once the installation and activation is done, go to the setting and there is an option called updraft backup. And here you can see minimum settings you have to do in order to take a backup. Remember before this video, I have already taken a three backup. So in this video, I will tell you what happened if you will choose the setting and what happened to this existing backup as well. So now on this screen, if you go to the premium and extension, you should be able to do comparisons what exactly you will get under a free plan and what you will get under a premium plan. But there are three major advantage as part of a premium member, which I don't even recommend because you don't needed it. But just for your information, number one, as I said, you are allowed to take a storage or basically a backup to your local drive, such as your Google Drive or anywhere. But in case if you would like to use their internal storage, let's say one GB internal storage of a Updraft Plus, then you can opt for it as part of a premium plan. Number two, as it will allow you to take a schedule backup, which means you can slip at any time and this system will take automatically backup of your website. If you need it, then you have to upgrade for a premium plan. And number three, that is called an incremental backup. What does that mean? Just take an example. Just now you took a backup of your website. That copy is already stored to one of the drive. Now, the next time when you will take a backup, what it does is it will create another copy and store to your local drive, which means every time when you will take a backup, it will keep adding into the shared location or your resources will be consumed every time when the backup will be taken. But if you'll be having their premium plan, what it does is when you will be taking a next time backup, it will check your old backup. And within that old backup, it will try to make a changes, whatever the new update you have done with a website, which means there will be only one backup file copy, but that will keep updating as long as the system will taking a backup. So that's the three major advantage as part of a freemium member. 
along with obviously the premium support, uh, more of a customer support and all that stuff, but not much needed. Now let's jump on to the basic setting area. And this is the area where you have to pay close attention. Well, number one, this is asking you how many file backup schedule you would like to have. So ultimately, as a part of a, a free plan user, you are only allowed to take a manual backup or you can go with the every two hour or five hour or weekly backup and all that stuff. So for time being, I'm just choosing here a manual backup. And it says if once you have taken that backup, how many backups you would like to retain by a updraft plot. Just take an example. If you are set here at two, then ultimately only two copies will remain here. And when you will create a third copy, it will delete the old one. Likewise, you will be having that control. The another one similar part of as a file backup, there will be a database because remember what exactly the website contain. It contain a database, it contain a plugin, it contain a theme, uploads and lot many other stuff. So it is asking you two better options. How many times you would like to take a backup of a database and files? So make sure you select two two so that two copies will always be there within this dashboard which you can restore at any moment. Now the next part is where you would like to take a copy of this particular backup. As I said, they will offer you updraft vault feature if you will be their premium member, which means your file data will be stored to their local storage which means you don't have to purchase anything else that is part of their premium plan. But in our case, we'll be taking backup to the Google Drive. So select a Google Drive, then it will ask you to connect your Google account. So I will click to sign in with Google. It will ask you to leave the page. Then after it will ask you to verify the account where you would like to store this backup. So I will approve this particular email ID, Google Drive account. So what happened is it will create and you can see you simply have to click to the complete setup and it will take you back to the WordPress backend. Now it will route you back to the screen. So go back to the settings section, just scroll down and see whether the authentication is completed or not. So you can see you appear to be already authenticated. That means your authentication is successful. Now make sure you take a backup of a plugin theme and uploads. Uploads means all the media you will be uploading. So it will take a complete backup. In addition, you also make sure this checkbox is checked. Once you're done with that, come back and click to the save changes. That's the basic setting you have to do. And now you are ready to take a backup. Now, how to take a backup? Go back to the backup and restore and click to backup now. And there will be an additional checkbox. Remember, make sure all the three checkbox will be checked. In addition, make sure you check this one as well. What it does is, Let's take an example. You have already taken a backup. So here you can see I have taken a three backup where two has a lock sign where one doesn't have a lock sign, which means as I, as I already said here within the setting that it should only retain a two copy, but, but still my account contain a three copy. Why? Because I'm checking this checkbox. If you check this checkbox, then updraft will not delete that copy unless you will delete it manually. Clear? So automatically deletion won't happen if you selected this checkbox. And that is why it says like, keep it even if retention limits are hit. Now go and click to the backup now. Then after it will take a hardly one or two minutes based on the website, how much loaded your website is and automatically it will create a backup over here. And remember what it is doing is basically it is creating a folder to your Google Drive because there we are taking a backup and within that Google Drive, it will upload all the files. So let's take a time and see how long it takes. So let's have a look how many files it created. So you can see the backup has finished and if I will close it, you can see just now we created one backup at 1914 and it has a lock sign as well. If I will go to the Google Drive, you will figure out a new folder has been created called Updraft Plus. You can open it and can see it has created all these backups. Remember, this is the backup which it has created using this particular option where we just now clicked the backup now. So that's how it will keep using a same folder and keep uploading a new files. So remember at this moment we have total four files where the last one was at 17, 18. If you want to take another backup, maybe after two days or three days, come here, click to backup now. And again, click this option called backup now. Again, it will create another copy and that copy will be saved under the same folder. If I will refresh this earlier, there were only one, two, three and four, five files. Now see how many additional files will be added. So you can see it's keep adding additional files here. 1915 that's one file just now came another one third one if you will refresh it there will be total 10 files 
five will be the earlier backup and another file will be the latest backup. And that is what the premium plan does. What it does is basically it will replace the old file data and will keep only one copy and that's how you can save your resources. Otherwise, what you have to do is you have to come here and delete them manually. Now, let's say in the future, if you would like to delete any of this, what you can do is you can come to this page. Remember, we already set a two files. It has to retain maximum two files. And that is why the earlier old file, it has deleted automatically. But all of this are having a lock sign, which means you have to delete them manually. And the interesting part is, let's say this is the backup we just now took which is this one in our Google Drive at the end, 1915, 1915. If you will delete it from here, it will also delete that particular file from your drive. So that's how even you can control or delete your backup, all backup from Updraft Plus. So just now deleted one file and you can see this 1915 files will be deleted and only one backup file is left. So that's how very useful this plugin is. You can see how many backup you already have. And in future, if any misfortune happen with your website, what you can do is, you can install this plugin go to the settings section connect with the same google drive account and automatically it will show you all the backup it took in the past you simply have to click to the restore and then select all these options and then go to the next and what it does is it automatically takes a backup and will up and activate your website as it was before it before that situation happened. So that's how you can use this plugin called Updraft Plus to take a free backup of your website. So make sure you use this particular plugin and it is really helpful plugin if you will be using a WordPress website. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Likewise, in the future, we'll create a similar video. So if you're really interested, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching this one. See you in the next one.